इक्वेशन इन बाइनरी व्हाट इज द इक्विवेलेंट ऑफ सेवन सेवन ट्रिपल वन सेवन विल बी ट्रिपल वन नाउ सपोज आई वांट रिप्रेजेंट थर्टी थ्री देन हाउ मच विल बी थर्टी थ्री a 1001 okay similarly suppose i want to write suppose uh, 127 what will be 127 this will be seven ones <coughs> so basically how you are writing 7 or 33 or 137 what procedure you followed we learned two methods okay suppose you want to write 7 so we can keep on dividing with 2 we can write the remainders here then we are arranging this okay from bottom to top this method was a little bit lengthy in pen and paper to write so next what you understood you understood about the weightage of the each position suppose 7 7 is nothing but 4 plus 2 plus 1 we know about the weights assigned to each position then we came to know that 7 will be triple one it is addition of 4 to 1 similarly 33 33 will be 32 plus 1 so as per this 8 16 32 so what will be 33 As 33 is 32 plus 1, what will happen? This 32 position will be 1, 1 will be 1, other will be 0. Okay, so this method is easier as compared to this method in in, in terms of uh, space also and in terms of finding out also. Okay, so this method is easier as compared to previous method. Yes or no? It is easier. This method is easier, or this method? Which one is easier? <coughs> the second. One. Second method is easier. But second. now, what? Can you explain this method again? So in this method, what happens? One second. Each position is assigned with different weights. What is the weight? Weight will start from least significant bit. Its position number is. Zero. So here its weight will be two to the power zero, which is equal to one. Similarly, for next beat position is one, two to the power one. This will be two. Next position second, two to the power two. So only four. In the similar line, next position so it will be how much? Position is three, two to the power three will be how much? Eight. Now eight. Next. Sixteen, next thirty-two, next sixty-four, next one twenty-eight, next is fifty-six. Okay, carry on. <coughs> Now suppose I want to represent thirty-seven. One second. Suppose I want to represent thirty-seven. Then what to do? I need to represent thirty-seven in terms of addition of these numbers. So what is thirty-seven? One second. Let's go rearrange. कर लेते हैं. हाँ. What will be thirty-seven in terms of addition? क्या होना चाहिए thirty-seven? Thirty-two plus four plus one. Thirty-two plus four plus one. So in only in these positions you need to write one. Thirty-two will be one. Four will be one. One will be one. Other places will be zero. So thirty-seven is represented with what? One double zero, one zero one. <coughs> okay, is this method clear? How to find any decimal number in terms of binary? How to convert? It's a good question. But now there is again there is a problem. So method two is easier than method one. Okay, but if this number increases. Suppose now number is one five three two six one. Okay. So can you represent or can you find out binary numbers easily? We can find out, but is it easier? Can you find out easily this one five three two six one using the second method also? Is it easy? No sir. 
It will be difficult. It will be difficult because you have to carry on. This is one lakh fifty three thousand means two fifty six. Then five twelve hundred twenty four two zero four eight. Then four zero nine six eight one nine two. Itself it is difficult now. Okay. So that means if more number of bits are required or decimal number is large, it is difficult to convert. But it will take more time. Anyway, we can do that, but it will take more time. And so to the power seventy. Uh -huh. So it will be difficult. So what we can do? So why we are facing this issue? Because we are converting them in binary, and the two methods we learn using that we are not able to find out the binary equivalent number. But our computers use only zero and one. So what is happening? Why we are facing this issue in our day-to-day -day life? Which number system are we are using? We are using decimal number system. But machines, they are they know only about the binary, so that their interdependence it will becomes difficulty. So to solve that issue, what we can do? We can go for different kind of course, different type of course. This is the one example that I show here. What are the problems we faced? So to solve that issue, we'll go for BCD code. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. Okay, and the thing we'll learn here it is called as natural BCD code. There are different BCD codes are there. Out of which first we'll learn about natural BCD, which is also called as eight four two one code. So here logic is simple. In decimal number system, how many digits you are using? What are the different numbers you are using? <coughs> in decimal zero zero two no in decimal zero to nine zero to ten zero to nine three four five six seven eight nine. So how many numbers are there? Total ten numbers are there. Ten digits are there. Zero one up to nine. So I will represent them using zeros and one. Okay. So what we'll do here? I will represent. Okay. First of all, as it is ten numbers we are using. Suppose I will represent them using binary numbers. Then how many minimum number of bits are required to represent ten combination? To represent ten numbers. <coughs> to represent ten numbers. So how many minimum four number of bits are required? Using three three bits, it is not possible. So what I will do here? I will assign again some weights. What are the weights? As this name is natural BCD or eight four two one, I will assign the weights as eight four two one. Then what I will do? Zero means everything will be zero. Whatever we done just previously, one will be triple zero one. Two will be how much? Zero zero one zero. Let us break the sequence now. Suppose six. What will be six? Six is addition of what? <coughs> How much will be six? A zero double one zero. Six is four plus two. So in those position, one needs to be written. Other places, zero should be there. Similarly, nine. Nine means how much? Eight plus one. So eight will be one. One will be one. Remaining places zero. Suppose seven. Seven is what? Four plus two plus one. So those places will be one. Remaining places zero. Similarly, you can write for others. Okay. Now, now verify everything from zero to nine. Is it correct? Is it following eight four two one rule? Is it following? मैं कुछ गलत है कहीं पे. Any mistake anywhere? It is fine. So there are similarly different BCD codes also available, like two four two one, two four minus two minus one. Different codes are there, but we'll restrict ourselves first to this eight four two one. So we understood that zero is represented with this, up to nine represented with this. So now, suppose I want to represent thirteen now in decimal. So what to do? So just I will go for this course. <coughs> Sorry. So thirteen means one. How much is one? One is this. So I will write that. One is triple zero one. Three is how much? Three is this. So I will write this. 
Okay. So now using this BCD code, I can represent 13 with triple zero one double zero one one. Triple zero one double zero one one. Similarly, suppose I want to represent 26. So what will be 26? Double zero one zero. Two will be double zero one zero. Six will be zero double one double one zero. Suppose I want to represent this one five seven nine. What will be one five seven nine? One five seven nine will be one is triple zero one. Five is zero one zero one. Seven is zero triple one. Nine is one double zero one. Okay. Sir, how we can learn this code? Sorry, can you repeat again? Sir, how we can learn this code? First of all, we need to remember this. We need to remember from 0 to 9. So basically, we are assigning a combination to each digit. So 0 is assigned with this, 1 is assigned with this, 2 is assigned to this, 3 is assigned to this, 9 is assigned to this. Okay. Then, just we are writing for each digit, we are writing the corresponding code. So this conversion will be easier as compared to finding the binary numbers. Yes or no? Is no, but of the machine will understand that it, is, <coughs> it, is, it has been used the natural BCD code. That, of that it has that has to be defined. That has to be defined. So what kind of codes you are using? It is not a single code. There are different codes are there for a different application. Different codes will be used. Okay. So anytime, anytime you are discussing about something like different codes, you have to define it. Unless or until you are defining, machine will not able to know that. Okay. Is it clear? <coughs> is it clear yes, no. so you have to inform you have to mention it to machine so now so i represented this first of all you shouldn't think it is a binary is it binary number is it binary equivalent of 1579 or you can check this also is it a binary number no we converted it for our ease of conversion if we use that formula of weights this is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. It would have been 19, but it is not 19 because I am using BCD. I will I will think this as 13 only. 1 is this, 3 is this. So our conversion gets easier. I can easily write down whatever the larger number will be given. I can easily identify that this is the number. Suppose number is 2, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what will be this number? This 2 is 0010, 6 is 0110, 7 is 0111, 8 is 100, 9 is 100. So easily in few seconds I wrote that this is equal to 0, this is equal to 26789, which was not possible previously. Which was not possible previously. So if I'm using BCD code, this ease of conversion is there. I can easily convert this decimal number into a binary kind of code, which will consist of zeros and one. Okay. Similarly, suppose this number is given, then from this also I can write down this is equal to two six seven eight nine. Okay. So conversion will get easier. I can easily able to identify decimal number is given. I can easily convert them into BCD codes, or if BCD codes is given. I can easily find out the decimal number. So conversion gets easier. That was not possible in the binary binary number system. Using this code, it gets easier. So motivation, you understood what we are doing this? Yes, I got it, sir. <coughs> okay. So we see that it's advantage. Advantage is what? This ease of conversion. Okay. Then there must be some disadvantage. What can you think about disadvantage? What can it will take more number of bits. It will take more number of bits. Suppose, just take an example of 13. To represent 13, how many minimum number of bits are required? Four. Four child. But here using this, how many bits were used? Eight bits were used. Okay. Similarly, 26, five bits were required. But we use that using eight number of bits. So first of all, more space is required or more bits are required to represent the number second problem is this is this will also create a problem in its arithmetic in addition subtraction this will also create a problem why 
because here how many numbers we are using in this decimal number we are using from 0 to 9 so to represent it what we are doing we are using four bit numbers but in four bit numbers how many possible combinations are there 2 to the power 4 16 possible combinations are there out of which how many we are using <coughs> how many combinations we are using nine not nine ten, ten. we are using 10 combination so what happens six combination got unused we are not using six combinations so those six combinations are called as invalid codes which codes becomes invalid 1010 1011 Double one, double zero, double one, zero one. The six combinations are called as invalid codes or invalid combinations or unused codes or unused combinations. So we are not able to use this six, and this will let later on we'll see in next slide. This is creating a problem for us. Let us see how it will create a problem and how we can solve this now. So can you show the previous slide, sir? For, for this one? Yes. So basically, you can think like this. From 10 to 15, it is unused. You can correlate with that. In binary number, 10 to 15, it is getting unused. Because we are using from 0 to 9. Now, addition. Okay. Let us take an example. It will be easier to understand. Let me first just read this. Then when we will solve the problem, it will be easier to understand. So first of all, if you want to add two numbers A and B, then first of all, I need to represent A and B in BCD. <coughs> Sorry. So first of all, if I want to do this arithmetic operation, first I need to represent A in BCD and I need to represent B in BCD. Then we need to add them. Now, if we we'll add them, there is a possibility that whatever combinations we'll get, that can be an invalid code. Okay. So, there are two ways in which to identify that code is illegal or not. First of all, if there is a carry after a 4-bit combination, we'll understand, huh? just, I'm just reading it. Then that code is called as an illegal code. If there is no carry, but if... 4-bit code is illegal, then also code is illegal code. So, how to rectify that illegal code? Because we are using from 0 to 9, so 6 are getting unused. So, we can rectify it by adding 6 to it. 6 means 0, double 1, 0. Let us understand this, what will happen. Now, suppose I will add, <coughs> let's take a simple example to understand. And as first take where there will be no error. Suppose I want to add 12 with 26. Okay. So what should be the output? Output should be 38. Okay. Let us do that using BCD. We'll see what we are getting. So first of all, what is 12? How much? How much triple zero one and double zero one zero. One is triple zero one. Two is zero 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 one zero. Twenty six again zero zero one zero six zero double one zero zero double one zero. Now I represented both of them in BCD. Then I will add them. So 0 plus 0 will be how much? 0 plus 0 is 0. I am not telling, telling, telling about carry because carry is 0 only. 1 plus 1, sum is 0. Carry is 1. Zero, 1, one, zero. Then 1 carry. plus 1, sum is 0. Okay. Carry is 1. Then 1 plus 0 plus 0, sum is 1. one. What about carry? Carry is 0. Now this point is important. Let me highlight. So this is a 4-bit group. This is a 4-bit group. Now we see that when I am going from one group to another group, there is no carry. Or carry is 0. Okay. 
so keep that in mind later on this will be helpful so here there is no carry from non four bit four bit group to another four bit group if no carry means carry is not equal to one next one plus zero okay i'll explain one. this more sir so because your no. system is so your screen i have not told anything i just told that just just keep it in mind here when i am going from one here four bit group to another four bit group there is no carry no carry means when i am saying no carry means carry is not equal to one so it is not one okay that one just i am highlighting okay later on we will see that when carry will come what will be its effect now 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 so first see this this is a legal legal code or illegal code 1 0 0 1 0 legal legal or illegal legal check this table it's 8 legal what is its equivalent it is equal to 8 Zero zero one one. What is this? So it's legal. So my answer is correct. What is the answer? I got the same result. Sir, you are lagging, sir. No, no, my no, my network is fine. I am using uh, okay. My network strength is very good. Am I not audible? What about others? Oh, the screen was stuck. And all it is clear, sir. Okay. Not Okay, so this code is also legal. This code is also legal. Is it five? Is it five? Yeah. Is there any issue now? Sir, can you explain the last part again? So how one zero one one is legal, sir? Am I on? Sir, you are not audible. Is it? One second. Let me recheck. One second. I am disconnecting and I am connecting again. Am I audible now? Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Okay. I guess this yes, screen is visible. 
screen yes sir yes sir okay so in this example yes, anyone having any doubt so we got the correct codes here so you can explain the last part again your video got stuck at that time okay so what happens here no here the thing to explain because we didn't get any illegal one so it is simple addition only okay so we'll be able to understand only when there will be a illegal code so otherwise it is a simple addition you can think it as a binary addition only so 0 plus 0 0 1 plus 1 sum 0 carry 1 1 plus 1 sum 0 carry 1 1 plus 0 plus 0 1 so point is here is no carry is going to this place next group so from one group carry is not going to next then again 1 plus 0 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 so this code is a legal code so this equivalent is 8 this code is also legal so this is also called as this is equal to 38 okay now these two points clear this is simple addition only nothing else is there only thing we are adding in bcd so we will not come across any illegal code so it was easier now let us see another problem in which maybe we will get some issue suppose we will add 18 plus 18 okay 18 plus 18 so for only for ease of doing i wrote both as 18 others also possible so what will be 18 how much will be 18 this is also triple zero one one triple zero okay now zero plus zero 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 plus zero 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 plus zero zero one plus one some zero carry one now check this <coughs> there is a carry from one group to next group this is one group so from one group carry is going to next group then one plus one plus one so sum is one carry is one one plus zero one zero plus zero zero plus zero zero okay here it seems that this is legal yes or no how much is this four zeros four zeros is how much zero it seems that it is legal but because a carry goes from one group to another group because of that this code becomes illegal one second. this code becomes illegal this code becomes illegal okay not because that this is illegal code this becomes illegal because there is a carry from one group to another group so when i am saying carry carry means carry is equal to one don't say that in the previous case also here also carry is zero Okay, so okay. when I'm saying carry means carry is equal to one. So because from one group to next group carry is going, because of that this code becomes illegal, which was not the case here, which was not the case here, because here carry was not equal to one. Okay, so we know that this code is illegal. This code is illegal. This one is legal or illegal? Double zero double one. <coughs> double zero double legal. One. legal okay first of all there is no no carry to the next group and this is also legal so this is legal then how to correct the illegal course to correct illegal course we need to add six in corresponding position so here we need to add six to it which means zero double one zero so for add them what will happen this will be zero 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 1 1 0 plus 0 0 here nothing means these are 0 so this will be double 0 double 1 so what will be its decimal equivalent double 0 double 1 decimal equivalent is 3 0 double 1 0 decimal equivalent is 6 so we are getting the correct answer. okay is this concept clear yes how to identify yes. Another point to remember, now suppose, after, suppose, think about this case, here I am correcting, okay, here correcting, suppose, here you will get a carry from this position to this position, but this carry you are getting after the correction, in that case, this will be legal, this will be legal, 
so don't consider this to be illegal and keep on adding six okay after correction if you are getting carry then no issue it is absolutely fine in the first case if it is coming then it is a problem and we need to rectify okay so quickly see this two example and find out if any problem then tell me <coughs> try to do it yourself in that way you will be able to find out two different kind of problems are there okay But if you presently one we use one in the digital system, you require twelve. Perfect point. So the digital system requires more number of bits, right? That's why it is less. Are you watching? Ah, sir. Yes. So now, sir, what if there is a carry in the like the last element from the left? Are there anything like that? What? Ah. Uh, Means you are talking about here or here? Ah, uh, sir, um, ha, sir, that point. Uh, one you marked there uh, if there is a carry after that. If directly you are getting a carry, means it is illegal. If one also, even if you are getting, that is a illegal code. So then again, we'll add six, or we'll ignore that uh, extra bit. You need to add again. So can you do an example? Uh, let's. See. You tell me. Ninety one plus eighty five. Ninety one plus eighty five. Okay. So how much is ninety one? One double zero one. So here, one, so the triple zero one, eighty five, one, triple zero, five, zero one zero. If we add them, what will get? One plus one is how much? Zero carry one. Zero carry one. Then again, one, zero plus one, one, zero plus zero. Zero. Okay. Here one. Here zero. Double zero. Sum zero. Carry one. Okay. As you get a carry there, so this code becomes illegal. This code becomes illegal. So to rectify this, this is perfectly fine. There is no carry here. So nothing to do there. Only thing is, let me take another color. So I need to add six to this. So same thing I am writing. Yes, student. Then one plus zero, one. Zero plus one, one. Zero plus one, one. Zero plus zero, zero. One will be as is well. So one means you can add triple zero before it. Okay. So this is one. This is seven. This is six. So how much is answer? One seventy six, ninety one plus eighty five, which is equal to one seventy six. Okay. So here I am not solving directly. Tell me, direct. I can tell you. So just go through this. So problem is here. As you can see here, this is a illegal code because this is fifteen. This is ten. This is illegal. This is eleven. It is also illegal. So all codes are illegal. So to rectify this, we need to add six in each position. So six is added in each position. So answer we got here. In the next example, what happens? Here, this is illegal. This is illegal, and here there is no carry. So as it is nine, this is a legal code. This is a legal code. So what happens here? We need to add six in this position and this position. So after adding, what happens? This code is not corrected. This code is not corrected. So what is happening here? After addition, this is becoming ten. One zero one zero is nothing but ten. So this is getting illegal. So to solve it, as it is not corrected yet, so again six is added here. So if we we'll solve this, you will get the result. Okay. <coughs> so we can try that. So let me go to the next one. So next one is B C D subtraction. B C D subtraction. Okay. So in subtraction also same thing that we are using binary exactly same thing needs to be followed. Again, 
if you are doing a minus b you need to represent a and b in bcd then you need to go for the normal subtraction but like in case of your addition in two instances you get invalid what are the two possibility one is this code can be invalid or there can be a carry from one group to another group in that case is your codes getting invalid but that is not possible when you will go for subtraction okay so first of all only thing will possible will be if there is a borrow from the next group so if you borrow from next group then only your result will not be correct and how can you do that like previously we added 6 then here 6 needs to be subtracted so two examples are given here one is 37 minus 12 okay sir can we do like two as complement here that is different two as complement we are using for only for binary numbers this is the bcd that is completely different from this okay so that concept is not applied here so 37 37 is how much 3 is 0 triple 1 1 1 0 and 7 is 4 sorry 0 triple 1 0 galat ho gaya one second 3 is double 0 double 1 7 is 0 triple 1 next aur kuch number lete hain suppose 14 so how much will be 14 1 is 0 4 is how much 0 so if i subtract what will happen 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 0 1 1 minus 1 0 0 minus 0 0 so here there is no requirement of borrow from the next group here 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 1 minus 0 1 Zero minus zero 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 minus zero zero. So both these codes are legal because we are not taking any borrow from the next group. So what will happen? This equivalent is two. This equivalent is three. So answer is your twenty three. Okay. Now let us take another Sir, example. Sir, can we show the previous slide once? This one. Yes, sir. Sir, how is it coming? One two one five there. One two one five. One second. So check it. Start from this this side. How much is this? Zero one zero one zero one. It is five. Triple zero one. This is one. Zero zero one zero two. One means triple zero needs to be added. Okay, sir. Understood. So that is a last carry, na? So if a last end around carry is there, you need to add the remaining zeros, three zeros. Okay, sir. Understood. So next here, so it is there is no, no illegal codes. Let's take an example of a illegal code then. <coughs> take an example of forty one minus eighteen. So this time this group is not become invalid, right? So if there is a if if there is a so this group is not invalid. Okay. So what is forty one? Four is zero one double zero. One is Triple zero one. Eighteen. Eighteen is triple zero one. Eight is one triple zero. So if I subtract them, one minus zero is one. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. Zero minus one. So again, I will require a borrow. So is it possible from this? It is zero here, not possible. Here also zero, not possible. So what will happen? From here one borrow will go to this. If will borrow will come to this position, this will become one zero. So how much will be remaining here in this place? <coughs> If will one will go to the next bit, how much will be remaining here out of one? Third zero. It will become zero. It will become zero. Now, out of one zero, one will go to next bit. So, out of one zero, if one will go there, how much will remain? One will remain. Then, from again from this one zero, one will go to this. So, how much will remain here? One will remain. Now, this is basically zero minus one with a borrow. That means one zero minus one. So, what happens? 
this yeah. difference is equal to 1. And what is happening? Borrow we got from the next group. So because of that, itself this becomes a invalid. This becomes it. Sorry. This becomes invalid. This one becomes invalid because we took a borrow from the next group. Next, 1 minus 1, 0, 1 minus 0, 1, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0. Okay. Next, as this is only illegal, to rectify this, we need to subtract 6 from it. So if we subtract 6, what will happen? 1 minus 0, 1. 0 minus 0, again I will require borrow. From where I will take borrow? From this position. So what will happen? 1 will go to this. So this will become 1, 0. So how much will be remaining here? Out of 1, this will become 0. Out of 1, 0, 1 will go to next position. So how much will remain here? 1. So point remember here is from where I will take the borrow? From this group or next group? From where we get the group? From, from where we got the borrow? From the same group or other same group? group? Same group. Same group, sir. That too, this is we are doing after the correction. So what happens? This is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. I am just copying this. So I know that double zero one zero is 2. Double zero double one is 3. So this is your result. 23. Okay. So this is all about this subtraction. So you can try various problems. Such questions are possible out of this. Okay. So let us stop here because we are not able to finish these things. So we will do this different quotes in the next class. One second. Don't leave the meeting. Let me take the attendance. Eight plus two plus eleven. So eleven is bigger than nine. Is it student? Thank you.